So I was scripting in Roblox Studio the other day and I ran into an error that was originating from my signal module. The stack trace was not helpful at all and it took me quite a bit of time by using breakpoints to figure out which particular signal was erroring. And eventually I found the signal causing the problem but I couldn't figure out why the error was happening and I decided to do some experimentation in a base plate using the signal module to see if I could reproduce the error. And I couldn't until now. So let's imagine a code set up like this. Let's say you're using your favorite signal module. Like for example, let's say you're using lemon signal, right? And let's say you have a signal somewhere in a module script or in your script or whatever. And let's say you have a coroutine or a thread somewhere uh, yielding and waiting for this signal to fire through the wait function. So let me make a new coroutine here. And all this coroutine is gonna do is it's gonna wait here for this signal. And we could put a print statement like after after wait. And let's go ahead and grab the thread returned by task.spawn. And let's say sometime at some point in the future in your code, let's say you 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 don't want this coroutine anymore. You don't need it. Uh, we're going to throw it away, right? So we're going to task.cancel this thread because we don't need it at some point in the future of our code. But let's say our signal hasn't fired yet. Let's say our signal fires after this thread is canceled. What's going to happen? Well, if we run the game, nothing happens. Everything works fine. This didn't print because the thread was canceled and the signal didn't bother doing anything because it can't can't do anything with this. Uh, this is a dead coroutine. So no issues. And this is why I couldn't reproduce the error for a while. I couldn't figure it out. And this, if you're curious, was the error. Cannot spawn non-suspended coroutine with arguments. Because the error had no stack trace, the only stack trace was originating from the signal module. I don't know where it was coming from. I don't know why it was happening. But then out of the blue, I just decided, okay, what if I just pass something to this uh, fire function, right? Because I mean, it says uh, cannot spawn non-suspended coroutine with arguments. Maybe I need to give it some arguments. So if I pass something like one to my fire function and run it again, ah, there it is. There's our beautiful cannot spawn non-suspended coroutine with arguments error. This was the exact error that I was running into and I couldn't figure it out. Okay, so maybe you're not using lemon signal. Maybe you're using uh maybe you're using good signal, right? Good signal. Good signal doesn't have this issue, right? Wrong. Cannot spawn non-suspended coroutine with arguments. Okay, you know, forget forget uh, lemon signal and good signal. Maybe you're using uh maybe you're using fast signal, right? That's a that's a good one. Surely this one doesn't have the error. Oh boy, you'd be wrong. Cannot spawn non-suspended coroutine with arguments. So this is a bug or an error that plagues what seems like all of the popular signal modules, every single one of them, they're plagued with this. They've got a disease. And the disease is uh, basically this. Let's uh, let's go into lemon signal as an example. And let's find the wait function for lemon signal. Here it is. Uh, it's using the task library. So let's take a look at this function. So when we call the wait function, what's happening is that it gets the current running thread through coroutine.running and it yields it. And when the signal fires, we make a connection here. Uh, we disconnect the connection and we spawn the thread with whatever arguments came uh, when the function was fired. And this is the issue right here. This is where the problem is happening. Because uh, interestingly, let me go ahead and uh, comment out this code. The interesting thing is, let's say you have a thread. Uh, this thread's going to immediately die anyways, because I'm just going to make it an empty function. And let's say you try to task.spawn this dead thread. And you run this code, nothing happens. But once you try to pass arguments to task.spawn after the thread and you run the code, oh, now for some reason task.spawn decides to spit out an error. Why is it designed this way? I have absolutely no idea. But you can see how this is a problem now that if, for example, here in this example code, if the thread or the coroutine that was waiting or called the wait function was killed later before the signal had the opportunity to fire, well, now this is going to run and it's going to go through here, disconnect the connection, and it's going to try to spawn a dead coroutine with arguments if we pass arguments to the fire function, and then bam, you get errors. So how do you fix this uh, terrible disease that's plaguing all the signal modules? You got to check. So you got to check the coroutine dot status of the thread if it's suspended you're good to go you're able to spawn it no problem if it's not suspended then you don't want to do anything so now 
we go ahead and get lemon signal in here with our new changes and we run this code the error is now gone no more errors yay let's see if we can try to fix the same thing with a uh, good signal let's go let's find the wait function in here here we go wait okay yeah exact same thing it gets the coroutine connect uh, disconnects the connection and task dot spawns it so again you need to do if coroutine dot status waiting coroutine is equal to suspended then you're good to go you can task dot spawn it so let's go back to the script let's use a uh, good you know i'm just going to call this signal so I don't have to keep stinking and retyping it. Okay, we're gonna get good signal, run this code. Boom, no error. Awesome. All right, let's go to a fast signal. Let's see how fast signal does it. Let's find their wait function. Here's the wait function. Same thing, thread, coroutine.running, return coroutine.yield, disconnects the connection, task.spawn the thread, but we need to check if coroutine.status of thread is equal to suspended, then, then we can task.spawn it. So it seems like all of the signal modules basically have the exact same design for the wait function. It's just all of them do not bother to check if you can actually task.spawn the thread because otherwise you're going to run into an error, which is a uh, no-no. We don't want that to happen. So let's now use fast signal and run it. There we go. Error fixed. So with this beautiful medication I call the if statement, all of our beautiful signal modules are uh, now good, healthy, and ready to go.